It could all be a coincidence, but Jill and I share a lot. We were born at the same month, the same year. When we first met, we were both divorced. But the strangest twist, well, maybe not the strangest, is that we eventually married two men who are brothers. Jill married the oldest brother of the family. I married the youngest. At the time when I had my vision, I was a busy working mom of a beautiful three-year-old. My day-to-day was hectic. I was just beginning a new business. And although life was full, my husband and I were open to adding a second child to our small young family. It was amid this mild chaos that I experienced what you could not call a dream. I was very awake. I saw a scene unfold before me, kind of like watching a movie. The picture of what I saw wasn't crystal clear. It was, in fact, a bit blurry. You could even say choppy. The mental picture was fuzzy, partially because of the sun. The sun was blinding and bright. It hit me right in the face. But through the strong light, I saw two toddlers. They were just beginning to walk, not sure-footed, but moving forward under their own energy. It was a happy scene. The children were the same height, and on their heads grew short, straight, blonde hair that was closely cropped and nowhere near their shoulders. Neither wore shoes, and their bare feet left small marks in the soft sand that they were walking on. The sun was warm, I could tell, because both children wore bright cotton shorts. In the vision, the children held hands and walked ahead and away from me along a wide open beach. They never once turned back, much to my disappointment. The scene only lasted a few seconds, but I instantly knew that they were related to each other somehow. Brothers, maybe cousins. I was immediately convinced that at least one of them was mine. After the experience, I told my husband that I knew in my heart that I had seen the future. It wasn't long after that Jill called. She had big news. She couldn't wait to share. She was pregnant. She was excited. And we were very happy for her. After all, this was her first child. But when I hung up the phone, I turned to my husband. And as I spoke, the message of the vision I had experienced earlier was suddenly very clear. She can't be pregnant, I said, because I'm not pregnant. In that moment and not a moment before, I knew I had seen our children, Jill's and mine. Sadly, though, the moment wasn't right. Jill called a few days later to tell us she had, in fact, lost the baby. Time passed, and a few months, Jill was once again on the phone. She had news. She was pregnant again. It was during this phone call, the second call, that I told her about my vision. The sun, the happy feeling, the tiny footprints in the sand, the boys in cotton shorts. To my amazement, She did not question my state of mind, but she did ask a simple question. Are you pregnant? I told her I did not think so. My husband and I weren't really trying to have a baby, although I told her we would be happy to welcome a second child to the family if such a thing were to happen. Days slipped by and Jill called again with sad news. She had a second miscarriage. I brought up my vision. And that there was a baby in her future, I was sure of it. Just not now, but soon. And she shouldn't give up hope. It was an unhappy time, but life again moved on. Finally, some weeks later, Jill called us a third time. She was again happy, but this time apprehensive. Remembering the vision, she was more than a little cautious. She said quickly on the phone, getting right to the point, I'm pregnant. She then quickly followed that joyful news with a very nervous question. Is there any way that you're pregnant too? 
I looked at my husband and back at the phone. You know, I could be, I said. I had no reason to think I wasn't. It was a possible situation. We lived less than a mile from the pharmacy, so my husband volunteered to run out and pick up a pregnancy test. I hung up the phone, waited for him to return, and took the test as soon as I could. This time, I was, in fact, pregnant. The first thing we did was dial Jill's number to tell her the good news. We figured out the timing. We were both expecting summer babies. Our news was soon confirmed, and we found we had nearly the same due date. We even ended up with the same doctor, and we planned on having the babies at the same hospital. Less than nine months later, Jill and I welcomed beautiful baby girls into this world. I was wrong, of course. I thought we were going to have boys, but these cousins did, in fact, have blonde hair and were born only four days apart. Jill's daughter was born first, and then my precious jewels.